All right, guys, welcome to the Stuff You Can Do 2 channel. What I'm going to show you how to do today is install an hour meter on your garden tractor. There's a couple reasons you might want to install one of these hour meters on your tractor. In my case, I'm going to do it to keep track of maintenance a little better. Um, a lot of times I used to just go ahead and change oil, you know, once a season. I have larger property now, so I'm not really sure that, you know, that's going to be often enough. So what I want to do is, you know, go ahead and go by the manual on a number of hours. It says to change my oil, and um, I want to use the hour meter to keep track of that. Another reason you might want to do that is if you have a brand new tractor that didn't come with an hour meter, it's a good way to keep track of how many total hours are on the machine. Like I said, in my case, this is an older tractor. Um, this tractor is about 35 years old, and um, so there's no benefit there, but it's still going to help me keep track of maintenance. All right, so let's get started. There's a couple things here that you, you want to check before you really dig into this. Um, first thing is you want to make sure you have a switch 12 volt source somewhere on the tractor. This is pretty common. Um, you can f usually find that somewhere at the ignition switch, or if your tractor has headlights, you can also get it at the um, one side of the headlight switch also. So to check that, you want to use some kind of a meter. Even those simple ones with the light will work for this. Go ahead and turn your meter on to DC. Get one lead on your negative. Yeah, I know that wire's red, but it's negative. Um, and then our headlight switch here if I can get you back to see a little better. My headlight switch is right there, the two yellow wires. So put your other lead on that point and take a look at the meter. And then with the meter leads connected in both those spots, turn your key to the on position. You can see we have over 12 volts there. Turn it off. So that would be a good source also. Now in my case I also have a wire that I believe was specifically for this. These tractors have this uh, an hour meter as an option. This tractor just doesn't have it. And that wire in my case is this wire right here. So we're going to check that also. Uh, put my lead in there properly. Sure enough, we have 12 volts when the key's on and zero when it's off. So either of those two points would be a good place to get your 12 volts for the hour meter. Next thing we're going to check for is figure out where you're going to put it. Um, you know, you might not have a place on your tractor to put the hour meter that's, you know, up here on the dash or anything. So in, in that case, you might have to make some sort of a bracket, get some kind of hardware from the hardware store, and mount it internal, you know, in the engine bay here where you can just check it with the hood up or something. In my case here, um, like I said, it was an option. You can see that right here. There's a hole in the dash here, in the metal part of the dash for an hour meter that doesn't translate through into the plastic. So what I'm going to have to do is go ahead and cut this out. Uh, to do that, I could take off the, the you know the dash piece and do it separately. I think what I'm going to do is use a Dremel and use the metal part of the dash to guide me around to make the hole that I need. You could also use a hole saw if you take it apart. You know, if you're having some other different mounting point, say you want to mount it down here or over here or wherever, you know, a hole saw might work for you there. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and strip the wires. Go to red and a black for our positive and negative.
thing I forgot to mention also was that I made the black wire quite a bit longer because I'm not 100% sure right now where I'm going to attach it to. All it needs to do is go to a chassis ground. All right, so for the negative, you can pretty much run that at any chassis ground that you can find that's convenient. 